Hey everyone, welcome to my concert condition is your deleted scenes tutorial. This is gonna be a tutorial for deleted scenes, not tour of duty. Deleted scenes. They are two different games. Anyway, sorry for like it's summer 26 degrees, it's hot. So uh my window is open and you're probably gonna hear a lot of honking, beeps, tremble and stuff. So sorry about that. Uh, okay, so for this game you need to set up the game first to do that you basically have to own conditions or do the things on steam and you want to download this into an ssd because last time i tested it uh, when you download this into a hard drive the game stutters a lot that's at least what happened to me so you might want to install into an ssd so after that we have some external things speedrun.com full CSCS full game deleted scenes go to resources or I will actually put all the links down below so you don't really have to worry but yeah okay so go in here we got Bunny Mode XT so first you're gonna download the BXT itself from this link Bunny Mode XT Windows not the source code the Windows and then you wanna download the injector not the source code, the injector. After that, put them all in one single file, like this. I have BXTN, they are inside. After that, we got Bunny Split for Live Split, but I will talk about that later. So now we got saves, download IL save and start save and practice save, and then throw them into. First of all, you have to go to your game files. Mine is at steam steam apps common half-life cs error and then save folder if you don't have one just create a one create a save folder and then put them all in here from e1 to e76 and ss2 m19 download them and if you're going to use like if you're gonna watch demos in this game it doesn't work it's because they updated this game in 2018 and for some reason and they broke the demo recording system so you can just download old hwdll and then throw it into your half-life folder replace it and they will fix it and then after that if you're going oh yeah so you you should join discord just join the discord and then you'll find go to resources and then you will find the game save the title file. I'll actually put this in the description down below as well. You download this and then throw it into just like it says in here. Half-Life CS error here. The reason you do this is the game saved title is just literally in the center of your screen. It's too big. So you, you just change wherever it pops to pretty much. It is useful and here we have bunny split so if you're gonna use live split which is not required but if you want to use it for killed timing and stuff you need bunny split so i will not put the link in the description because it doesn't work when you press download here it doesn't work for some reason and this is the source code so you don't want to download this so you in here in the resources section we have the file this thing over here just download it and by the way this is for live split and i assume that you probably know what is live split if you don't just just watch some stories on youtube so we have live split components throw it into components mine is here nice with bunny split dot yellow and then this is a bit of problematic because you need a different layout if you're running on other games such as half-life you need different layouts so this is my default layout and as you can see i don't have any support in here but okay let's let's talk about the one split so you're gonna press go to edit layout by the way this is the condition zero Splits you download it from the site in here and then just open them. So you edit layouts plus 
and control there is a bunny split you add it and then here you enable auto split and split it on following maps and then you want to manually uh, copy and paste all of these into here and then it will split on the following maps so this is for the main game not the old missions if you somehow wanted to run all missions which i don't think you're going to do and we'll take a look at that we'll take a look at about the auto split later but for now we just have the main game and when you just write them all and then press ok it should be working so you want to create another layout if you're running other games because when it's split messes up the timers of other games so here is mine I I use this layout which has bunny split in it and then of course it splits and and then start click compare against game time not real time game time so all right you just set up your game that's that's basically it and now let's go in game by the way if you want to speedrun all missions go to resources again on the discord and then download these modded maps download them and place them in cs error maps what yeah it explains pretty well in here it's basically not going to end the game at rise art but rather continue with the other missions so it is useful if you're gonna run all missions and you have to be exit timer or also stop zero so that doesn't ruin your timer Right, so after that, you want to just click play, delete scenes, and then and then go to your BXT folder, and then injector. Exit. Just like that, we the BXT is injected into our game. And it would be very surprising if OBS actually parted in ten seconds. Okay. So now we have bindings, options and stuff. So I go to options, uh, mouse, mouse filter, raw mouse input and disable uh, other things. Auto aim doesn't work. It is a scam. It doesn't work. So I go to audio, mp3, 0, hv0, video, gamma and brightness to um, light and high. And then disable everything in here. can use this, but I don't use it. Resolution and stuff and advanced weather quality of um, the performance, the FPS in some missions are terrible, so you just want to turn it off. After that, we by the way, dude, the fog in this game sucks, so if you want to increase your fog, you have to lower your resolution down to something. I don't know, it doesn't bother me, so I play at 1080p. Right, after that, go to keyboard. Mouse wheel, edit key, and mouse wheel down. Um, it is useful, especially if you're going to speed on and script this, it's be up. But it is still useful if you don't, if you're just going to speed on script this. And by the way, I just realized I, if you're gonna run scripted, um, there are some external things which I didn't talk about, but I will probably talk about that at the end of the video. Uh, the binds and stuff. I just forgot to do it now. <laughs> uh, I'll probably do it at the end. So if you're going to speedrun scripted, just probably I, there will be timestamps that you can check. So you just want to check that. Uh, in scripted, there are some wait commands, uh, auto be up and duck tap and jump bug. That there isn't really much of a script to do. Right, and then we have duck to mouse wheel up. Uh, I assume that you're a bit fami familiar with the movement and stuff. Uh, I'm not gonna really explain a lot in detail about what these do. So you go <coughs> down here, quick save, hit key V and quick dot edit key B. You can change it to somewhat something you like. I use this. Now we're gonna go in game, some bindings from console. Let's say load a uh, 34, let's say, let's go 35, 36, okay. So, 
in this game you need to set fps max to 99.5 not 100 uh, the maximum fps max value is 100 but the, i mean you can change it with fps all right but we don't allow that and if you do change i will notice it is pretty clear from gameplay so don't try to do that and you might as well just use netgrab 3 or cl show fps to see your fps so now that uh, why why it puts it in 200.5 if you ask the steam client steam engine uh, of the gold source games just puts 0 0.5 fps to the whatever you the whatever value you put in so if i miss fps max 100 it's going to do 100.5 so you want to a bxd will warn you anyways you can see on the top left of the screen and so you want to fps max 99.5 and now we have a lot of binds bind x bind z bind i and stuff so Starting with the 20 FPS bind, and uh, you can just copy my bind X, Z, I, caps lock, but you can change them as well. Um, so 99.5 is the default state. When I press X, it will put it into 100 FPS. Now we got 19.5, which will be useful for edge bugs. And what else? Yeah, if, if your FPS is lower, the NPCs will actually turn faster. So it is useful. I uh, binded it to Z. We have bind uh, I forty one point six 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 seven. Why this specific number you might like? It's for jump bug in down pilot mission, which saves five seconds if you get it first try. It is very easy in secreted, but it is very hard in secreted. So it's a bit of advanced strat. You don't really need it, but if you want to go for it, well, yeah, bind it. Um, and then we have four FPS bind which is useful for touching the triggers faster by 200 milliseconds and skipping trip mines skipping lasers and stuff just just bind it to caps lock it's not that much of a big deal or it might be for you actually you, you can just change it to whatever like mouse 4 or 5 and you know we got bind c minus stuck by the way too i'll i'll put all of these no i won't actually put these in the description so uh, the video should be HD enough for you to see this. Um, if not, yeah, I can just do that. Okay, so you, if you are having problems with the console, if you can't um, type this thing, you can just copy and paste and do it like that. Find C minus like is for jump bug again. Uh, this should be either on your mouse buttons or C or V or B. If you put it at I U K, it's, it's basically not going to work. Uh, you'll see at the down pilot mission when we're gonna perform the jump back. Right now we have bind G. Not not okay. Bind G weapon loss. So this is the weapon in motorcade assault this mission. Yeah. So let me let me show you this trick. Um, I have zero. I have zero ammo, but I can still somehow shoot. If you ask how, there is a glitch in this game. You shoot, switch weapons, and then go back to the weapon loss with the bind. Because you can't uh, switch manually to the loss. But with the bind, you can use it again. Over and over and over again, basically. Some animation cancel by reloading and stuff. I'm not going to explain them right now. Um, and then we got bind and autosave. Load autosave. This is for when you mess up a quick save, you can load this and continue, basically. And then we got bind P, which is gonna be our starting point. Uh, I'll put this in the description down below. Or you can check the guide in the speedrun.com uh, conditions or diligence guide section uh, using PHT, and at the bottom there is the bind. But I'll I'll just put this in the description. You can take a look at the, all the other things from here, but this one will be in the description. All right. So what does this do? BXO timer one enable boot reset and start. So it has load M17. So when I press P, 
is going to start the timer and this mission and if you ask why it's this mission this because I was just speedrunning this mission and so you want to change the bind P this thing to load SS which is going to be your start set load SS and then when you press P it will actually start the run on the recoil save which is the first um, first mission of the game so okay now we have set up our game completely utterly so now now we have the moment so if you're going to run with b hop you want to be xb hop cap zero and then you will be able to find you up just normal and you can be actual jump speed one to see your jump speed just check my speedometer to see what i mean and isn't this cheating you might ask no because this is a glitch so in the windows version they fixed my open and spine off but in the linux and mac they didn't for some reason and there is a bunny of category for that but you're not going to download linux just to speedrun conditions were right so we have modified the bxd in order to allow uh, windows players to not i didn't modify it actually <laughs> yalter and the bxd team you know um so that you can bind up in the windows version so if you're going to run secretless with PO, you bxd your club zero and you'll be you'll be able to bind up just like in linux or mac all right but if we're gonna secretless don't touch this if you do i'll know this okay and um, yeah uh, and then the movement if you are going to run with p up you basically bind up if you're going to run scriptless you do this um there is this thing called wiggling you can check my yeah keyboard on the left side so what is wiggling it's this you b hop without jumping and you go faster as you can see with knife i go my speed is 225 but if i wiggle like this i basically bind you up without jumping it is something average 280 90 or maybe even 325 talking about and that's that's the way you're gonna play this you can also do this but it is way slower it's, it goes up to 240 and that's it all right now we have press strafing the strafing is basically like if you're going to the right side you're gonna double d and turn your mouse to right and then as you can see i go up to 330 speed or even 40 but problem uh, you can go up to 275 uh, 275 is the max uh, as far as i tested in the scriptless version if you disable view up cap and then you can go to 340 speed in the view up in in the scriptless version everything is restricted unfortunately um you can so yeah you have to and you also have to not be pressing w so you have to let go of w right before you jump and that decreases your speed by a lot even if you manage to get 300 speed uh, you're still gonna be crushed into the ground because the maximum speed is two, 275 and so it is very annoying but in the scriptless category that is not a thing all right, you wiggle and stuff in this. By the way, um, I'm gonna go with the bunny up route or something mix. I don't know. But this guide is going to be for scriptless and scriptless with B hop. And if you want to run scripted, it will be at the end of the video. The scripts and how to use them and stuff, you know. Um, all right. So now we got wall strafing. Wall strafing is basically is this. You go faster by walking into the wall. So if if it's on the right side you look here wd if it's on the left wa and uh, your speed changes depending on wherever you look at if you look here you go slower if you look here you go faster like something around here should be faster yeah 340 speed or you can go like this which is very slow yeah 
and that is basically it for movement and everything and stuff all right here we go first chapter, first chapter first mission recoil um so here's the thing here is how i decided to do this tutorial i'm going to play without bunny hopping i'm gonna play scriptless only but uh, whenever there is a trick that requires b hopping and uh, then i'll show it with the bunny hopping um, if you're going to speedrun with b hop i highly recommend you to watch the wr video and the tutorial at the same time and um, because then you wouldn't miss <coughs> you're not going to miss any optimizations or something like that that any minor uh, things you're not gonna miss them out um, but if you're gonna run scriptless i'll show those little optimizations anyways but as i said if you are a b hopper then i think you should watch that and this tutorial at the same time okay so press p and run starts as soon as you start pull out your pistol and then just go like this right here this guy is rng sometimes he just sits in here sometimes he just rushes into you like this so to avoid that you just want to make a movement like this not from here, here. wall straight go um here is a little hitbox and let me lower the volume you can't go here yeah you cannot go here apparently this terrorist hitbox is still here so instead of doing that you should go here you can yeah don't go there just make them like this and then break the boxes and you can make a little bit b hop in here since you don't jump you can make one single b hop via duck rolling or you don't have to use your uh, pistol you can just do this which is easier and faster probably and you can press straight and then duck roll into here like this not like that anyways i uh, shouldn't really shouldn't really uh, elaborate on minor optimizations take the bomb this is very important bomb go here you can duck roll here right here take the bomb and make a jump like this in here from this uh, jump and crouch in here and in, and in here so now we got uh, animation cancel trick plant the bomb and as soon as you see this uh, being planted on there or yeah as soon as it's planted uh, press Q twice so that the animation shut up animation cancels and it saves like 200 milliseconds let me show you the difference so that's what happens when you don't do it and this is what happens when you do it you should have seen that it is faster by a bit. Anyways, plant, go here, animation can go here. Take us you can you can take a save wherever you want. And I'm gonna take a lot of quick saves. Like whenever you see the save text uh, on the bottom, that means I saved. Or then for a first All right. As soon as this uh, go here, wall strafe here if this guy stays here. If he doesn't wall strafe here. Didn't really matter that much. Yeah, like that. If you stay low, they behave um, differently. Anyways, wall straight, wall straight, there are two boxes. And now here you want to bump into the sky, but you have to be a bit fast or he blocks you like this. So you want to wall straight and go fast. So, what you want here to happen is you're gonna boost here and you want this guy to go there as soon as possible. Sometimes he just sits there and absolutely does nothing. Um, sometimes he just runs at you. He's mad. He's, he's coming to slaughter you with that machine. Um, so you go here, here, like, like this. This is the perfect one. But not, yeah. After that you can just boost to just normally. But sometimes he just sits at there. And that's... Yeah, you just want to go here, here. Yeah, this is perfect. Jump here. And then... Jump here and then jump into the terrorist head. Or you can duck for as well if he's close to here. Jump here and then here and then here. Easy trick. Um, instead of going around. 
So in here, there is actually a trigger here. Ext show trigger. So it. You actually have to uh, touch the trigger in order to open this. But turns out you can just press E on it. Found by Smiley. Shout out to him. I do this boost. And then, yeah, you <laughs> nice muscle number. I tried to go here. You don't have to go there anymore. You can just go straight and then press E on it. Kill this guy. Uh, you don't really have to take the HP, but you can take it if you lose a lot of HP. Um, in this case, um, I'm gonna take it. So in here you shouldn't really have that low uh, USP ammo, for some reason I do. I'm gonna go here a bit. Kill this guy. Kill this guy. Alright, that is weird. Most of the time, when you kill him, he just he's, he's sits at there. And after a second or two, he just dies. For, but, but, but this time, he is fast. Alright, now, time to, for one of the... It's actually the, one of the hardest tricks in this game. I mean, it saves 20 seconds. So, here is how it is. You wanna save... You wanna save here. Alright, now. Uh, what we're going to do is we're gonna kill this guy. Kill this guy. I'm gonna take this machete guy. And then push this guy into Someone here. Did didn't work. Mess. Because I messed up. I mean, I didn't really try to do it. We're gonna push this guy. And then let the machete guy push him into here. And when the delta... This is delta sniper. When he, touch, when he touches this trigger over here, uh, the door is going to open. Which uh, basically skips this dialogue. Right, so this is how it is going to be. So in order to kill this uh, first guy, you can stand and shoot, or just do this like me. And um, it is unlikely that you will kill him, but it is faster. And I try to do it uh, every time I go for this. If he doesn't die like this, I just kill him like this. So you can save here, like this. I just saved right before I. Open this trigger. This is the perfect save. This guy is here, and the Delta Sniper is right at the spot. This is the perfect save. Um, sometimes this dude uh, decides to run all over here. I have no idea why. He's just stupid. So you have to get this to this situation. The machete guy must be right behind you, and you should stink here. After that, you want to block him like this. You don't. You can stab him. I just stab him for some reason. Really it doesn't do anything. Right. So, and you wanna, really... wanna block him like this. So, it might be a bit hard. And then mission. let him push Medic! like this door. Just open. All right. Um, this might be a little bit hard to get, but you have to practice this, I believe. Uh, don't forget to take this one and this one. So this is how it, this is how it looks like after we have done this. So, reload, yeah, better reload. So, really did and he sometimes doesn't. Yeah, look, you see, he's he's going there for absolutely no reason. So, really did All right, like this, save, take this and HP, and then kill him. Go. That's it. Don't take, don't CNC's forget to take the HP and the uh, minigun or M two hundred forty one. Right. After we touch the trigger, go back, press E on him, and then continue. Uh, there is a faster, but very lucky uh, RNG strat that you can just not press E, throw a nade there and then continue and if you are fast enough if you are sure that this guy won't get killed in here until you get to the point where wherever you have to go it's fine, you can save like a second but that doesn't really happen, he usually dies uh, you can try without pressing E and continuing, but I don't really recommend that. So, press E right. and then go. Here, A little bit skip, jump here. And then jump here. Take the HP in here, just in case you get hit by this guy. And just take it. Go here, kill this guy. So, and make a nade just like this. That wasn't perfect. Okay, so there are two ways of doing this. Uh, in here, uh, I mean, this nade will save like 5 seconds. You don't really have to do it if it's too hard for you, but I recommend you to do it pretty much. So, in here, 
there are two ways of doing this uh, which will save a bit of time just a bit i don't know how much but just a bit so just like in half-life if you throw a nade let's say under something it will actually deal a lot of damage so if you can manage to throw it over here let's say it didn't over here this should work it didn't either right if you put it if you throw it into the right section right uh, i don't know the word for it you can actually uh, break these boxes in here so why break these boxes we are going to break them later when we come back here so instead of doing that you can just you can you can throw a nade so perfectly that it actually goes under this thing you can see it goes a bit inside and then uh, and then comes back if you can actually do it you will break these boxes as well but it you don't really have to worry about that you can just push like this and just throw the nade and then boost if you if you get into the window there it is pretty much perfect and by the way here it is i couldn't show you but it worked i broke the boxes over there okay here again see you don't really have to worry about that but it gives you perfect boost so you can do boost like this all right as soon as you land here kill these two with the m4 and then and then just reload your m4 take out your usp Kill this guy, kill this guy, don't break this box here, uh, alright, uh, this is nice, sometimes he just sits at here, uh, you can, you have to kill him then, but you can deal with this guy later on, it doesn't really matter, but if, it's good, if he runs here, not here, then you will have to take care of him, don't break this, because then this dude will get stuck here, so that you can deal with him easily later on, alright, just go here, Kill this guy, not like this. Take out your M249. Kill this guy, kill this guy. Throw an 8 here and kill these two dudes or one, whatever you like. You can use your M4 as well. Most of the time, you don't have uh, M4 ammo in here. So you usually use the M249. So why do you throw. I just ult that. Why do you throw an 8 here? It's because you have to kill these two dudes, which means when you do that, they get killed. So in order to continue, you have to clean this entire area. And we will count on this dude over here to do that. Um, you can just throw a nade here and then continue, which will be faster. But you just basically leave it all up to the RNG. And you don't really want to do that. You want to minimize the RNG as much as possible. And so I kill two extra enemies after I throw here. I kill two extra enemies. Rather here or here. You better kill the enemies uh, that is far from this guy. Because it is harder for him to kill him. So I kill these two. I throw a nade and kill these two. And then continue and kill this guy here reload again i recommend uh, lowering fps to 20 for a bit just a bit while here look that was the perfect one uh, if you lower fps the npcs turn faster and sometimes our npc guy over there gets stuck at uh, something he can't turn or he turns very slowly when you lower the fps to 20 he just turns faster so i try to lower my fps to 20 in here and when i jump down here uh, especially in with b op speed runs uh, you don't want to lose your bunny hopping speed so you have to lower your fps in air and then take it back to under but in this one you can just lower here for a bit and then look uh, if this guy if these guys spawn and if the radio command comes good work uh, that radio comes when it says good work for until 
Um, that means the our NPC have successfully cleaned the area and we are okay to go. So this is a very good one. I can just go here. If you are lucky, if you are fast enough, you can just kill this guy and then continue. But there will also be another one over there. Doesn't really matter. If you are a bit late and you are here, you don't have to deal with them, but deal with the sniper guy. Okay, I'm just gonna continue like this. No, not that. Okay. Go. Deal with him. Deal with this guy. This guy. And now... Well, I have no idea why this guy is still alive. Okay, this is weird. Okay, take the HP in here. And in here. If you did the boost with the mega boost like what i tried to explain five minutes ago this door will be uh, open and but if you didn't that's fine just take and throw one more nade, your last nade into here that's what it saves if you do the nade boost here perfectly so you just want to take the hp and throw it here here now for this folks so i recommend taking this good guy and then kill Kill, 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 kill. Thanks. All right. Uh, in B hop, you can just rush all the way down here and kill these guys, and then deal with this later on. But it is very risky, so you might as well just do this. Kill, 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 kill. Go here and kill this guy. Okay, now you want to push this guy like this. Thanks. Need no gun. Okay, you wanna push this guy like this, so uh, after the cutscene he will, will he will basically start here. Say it's like a second. And you want to push him and take HP. Push him and take HP. And reload your ESP. It is very important that you reload your ESP. And I have no idea why is this guy still alive. This never happens in runs. Reload. Reload push and take the HP. Press E. Now this is very important. You're gonna use only USP. Only. Because if you use M4 he just stops. Look. Uh, let me show you. Right. Look, he just stopped. He just stopped. But with the USP. He don't. Okay, he does because this guy is shooting. Okay. Press E. Yes. And follow this route. Okay, why is he not moving? Okay, that that never really happens. <laughs> Don't worry about that. Okay, he is getting scared by. Okay, I don't know. That that never really happens. Just go watch. Uh, no way. I'm not going any further. Just go watch a recoil run, and you will see that it doesn't happen. Anyways, yeah, in here you don't wanna make a sharp turn. No way. I'm not going or he will not follow you. I'm gonna make a smooth turn. Yeah. And these folks with USP. I just I already killed them. If you don't you can just kill them out uh, later on. After you kill them, reload. And then do this. So the ammo management is important here. Two two for this guy. Two for this guy. Kill this guy again for save load and then kill this. And then it will be clean. Why kill this with M4? Because when you, it doesn't affect the Delta Sniper when you kill this guy with an M4. But his death animation is delayed, maybe like two seconds. So when you save load after you headshot him twice or once, he just dies faster when you save load like this. But you have eight ammo. Two for this. Nice aim. Two for this. Two for this. And two for this. I have two ammo spare, which doesn't really happen. This is a bit of like this, this, and this. All right. And now you want to make a good turn like this? No way. Not like this. You can lower your FPS to 20. No way. I'm but you wanna, you wanna make sure that he's here, and then make a turn like this. Then he will follow. If you go here, he's probably not gonna follow you. No way. It, it, this is a weird ass thing. No way. Like this. I'm gonna make a sharp turn like this. No way. But so here's the thing: when I save load, he basically stays at there. In normal runs, you don't. So 
these little problems are because I'm making a tutorial video right now. You're not, basically not going to save land in these areas. So he's gonna just um, follow you flawlessly. So make sure to do this movement over no here way. while he's here. Okay, like this. I'm gonna go like this. Then it will be okay. It will be okay, just like this. Okay, don't kill him. And this is recoil. Alright, last house. Um, this mission is pretty... Okay, I don't really have any common... Okay, never mind, what am I even talking about? So, um, let's go. After the cutscene ends, uh, this isn't really... Okay, never mind. You're gonna be blindfolded in here. Right as you hear it, uh, and as soon as you gain the control of the character, just go here and wall strafe. Get in here, take this thing over here, and then you can duck roll here. If, instead of just going around like this, you can duck roll. And go here. Uh, don't forget to take this thing you just picked up. And then go here. Take this and switch weapons as soon as you do that. Because if you don't, you're gonna get stuck in air for one or two seconds, just like that. And see the difference when you switch weapons, you're basically faster. Wall strafe in here, in here. I'm um, okay. Never mind. Not here. Uh, and now here, drink this. And. Um, Stop this and then this just so you when you press Q you will instantly get the radio. So it's gonna be looks something like this. Yeah like that. And then you can duck roll here which is faster and spam here as soon as you see just just spam left click and it will be um you will get the signals the footage and then switch to radio and spam left click again. Just like that. Alright, my north board is working, right? Yes. Now you can't move. When you gain the control of your character, just go here. Go here, wall strafe here. You jump here. You might get boosted by the steel over here, which is pretty annoying. Never mind. Go here, break this behind this box, just so you don't get an uh, HP. Go here. If the guy is blocking your path, kill him. If not, go here. Just blow up the barrel. And now, uh, here is the duck ball trick. You can actually jump over these by duck rolling. You can see what I'm doing. We have bind the mouse wheel up plus duck uh, in the setting up video. That's when that, This is when it is useful. You duck roll with mouse and then control key, normal ducking key. And you can just jump over them instead of jumping, which is uh, obviously um, slower. Alright, so I go here, duck roll. Also, this one, take the shotgun and the HP here, very important. Shotgun HP. Also, you don't really have to kill this guy, but you can do just in case. Duck roll, go there, go in here, take everything in here, including the nade and the ammo. Take everything in here. We need to stay here to cover the package. Go here and you can take out your shotgun or you can also continue with this one. By the way, you should kill the guy in here or he will disturb you later on. It's been a while since I played this game, so we I'm just remembering while doing this tutorial. Right. This HP over here, we're gonna take it through the wall. It's here, just press E there. So you want to kill these and then take reload go here take out take out your shotgun and be careful about this guy so if you're gonna be fast enough to to reach here if you're still somewhere around here you will get a lot of damage so you wanna go here jump yeah like that and if you save load somehow if you save out here he is more likely to damage you I know that's stupid, but anyways, you wanna jump here, this guy, 
go back a bit and then shoot or otherwise you'll get damage you don't want that so back shoot dark roll and now jump in and throw a nade in here what this is going to do is activate the trigger upwards so you gotta be a bit of careful with this if you throw it somewhere i am not sure you're gonna get a lot of damage so you remember the nade trick in recoil where you if you throw it under an object it is gonna deal full damage so this thing happens in here as well but i have no idea how uh maybe it, it turn like sometimes you just throw it and then go here wait and then most of your hp and armor just vanishes away it is so annoying so that might happen i don't know where to exactly aim uh, to prevent that but around here should be fine pretty much but it's fine all right throw it here wait here and then go and now duck roll duck roll instead of jumping you can just duck roll i think it's faster now um you want to take out your shotgun kill this guy and now this is when it is faster to 4 fps than to duck roll if you duck roll here, you have a bit of slowdown, as you can see. A bit. Instead, to save that tiny little milliseconds, maybe like 200 and 300, you can 4 FPS. What is 4 FPS? And this actually works on triggers as well. If you touch a trigger with 4 FPS and then put it back to 100, in this case, my 4 FPS bind is uh, binded to caps lock, and uh, my 100 FPS is to X. So when I go. Well, walk into it, 4 FPS and back to 100, I skip it. Not like this. You gotta have good timing with this. Like this and like this. Not like this. You gotta have good timing. Instead, you can just do this and this. It is slower, but an alternative. I do this. You go here. Reload. Kill this guy take this here so if you're playing b up you can just find your here to here but if secret let's kill this guy because he deals a lot of damage shoot this shoot this push and then jump like this take the hp very important take out your smoke stay here and stay in here or here you just have to scare the NPC inside so that he runs to the trip mine and opens this way for you. So you go here, throw, which should scare the NPC inside, which it didn't. So most optimal way to do is stay here and then throw it around here. Should work like this. So meanwhile, think that just kill these dudes uh, so that they don't sh uh, damage you. Because we're going to perform a barrel boost right now. You do this, kill this guy. Okay, you know, sometimes it's a bit delayed. Uh, you go here. Now this trick is very wonderful. Yeah, just a pleasure to do this trick. As soon as you come in here, shoot this so that he doesn't shoot you. Shoot the barrel and make a boost like this. Yeah, I'm just gonna like make a boost like this and then continue, right? No. <laughs> Right, so how the how do nade boost work? So crouching gives you a huge amount of speed. So if I just jump and then do it, I don't get that much of a boost. As you can see, I don't get any boost at all. But if I jump and crouch, I can go up to here. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're gonna jump and crouch and then shoot. Jump and crouch, shoot. Like this. If you get too much, um, if you get too much height, it will end up like this. So you might as well just delay it a bit. As you can see, delay and shoot. That's how we can get less height and actually survive the fall. Now, if you want to get more, 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 more height, you can crouch and then shoot like this, as you can see. 
can crouch earlier and then as soon as you uh, want to boost you jump there's a different way of boosting which will be useful in in a mission so you might ask why not just go here why not why do you go here why do you go there instead of here well you have to touch some triggers <laughs> Uh, otherwise you can't continue the game so you just need to uh, barrel boost here by the way you have to not bump here so you have to uh, you have to get a good jump off of this like this go here reload here's a trigger here it is show trigger here's a trigger you have to touch this you can't just go like this you have to touch your trigger over there Touch it, go here, take the HP or this guy will kill you and just smash you. Kill, 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 and kill them as well. Go in here, jump, make a jump here. If you're, if you're a good KZ player, you can make a jump here with the knife. But, but I rather, but I would rather choose reloading with this shotgun so I don't do that. I just go here because I wanna reload. Or you don't, oh yeah, you don't really have to use the shotgun, you can just use this, right? Alright, yeah, let's do that. I'm gonna make the jump here, take this, shoot, shoot, and then shoot. Take the radio, which is, which you have to press 5 twice, and then spam left click. And this is the last cast. Um... As I said, I highly recommend you to follow the WR video along this tutorial, which should be way more helpful. But yeah, okay, this is Lost Cows. That's it. Welcome to Sacred War, I guess. Alright, after this long ass cutscene right. over here. Alright, comrades. And then this guy will make a your mom joke after you listen to all of these. You will end up here. So, as soon as you, uh, so there's a trigger here, fix the show, stop, okay. you have to touch that trigger, so as soon as you gain the control of the character, just go here, you will be blindfolded over here, so you can, you have to just go here, and then wall strafe here, and then touch the trigger over here, which will uh, activate the dialogues, make sure to touch that as soon as possible, like this, so, if you are a b-hop runner, you are very lucky in here, because you don't have to watch this boring ass cutscene over here. You're gonna waste like a minute in here. So basically what's going to happen is you have, you're gonna watch these dudes go, uh, hum, the door is not responding, blah blah and stuff. And you just continue. So, with the b-hop strat, what you do with b-hop is, let me show you. A Chad strat. Sigma Ultra Chad, no, whatever you call it, strat. It's very fun to do. As soon as. Uh, what is this? All oh, triggers you got. Alright, you're gonna be blindfolded. Uh, unlike in this IL save, you're gonna be blindfolded. So, first of all, what are you going to do is you're gonna hold B and tap W uh, 10 times. So. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10. Uh, when you do this, you're blind. You're not gonna be blind. You're blindfolded and will disappear in here, right in here. So, what does this do is you basically time it uh, when you get to here. So, basically, you hold B, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And your blindfolded uh, has just disappeared and now you're here. You're not bumping into here or here or something like that. You press W 10 times and then you find yourself in here. And so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. You end up here, B hop. I not have. You be up here. I recommend you to do some stand up drop jumps in here. Alright, go here. Duck will go here. Now we want to make this jump like this. You make the jump in, in here and then you can really go into there. Skipping the long ass cuts in here. Alright, um, 
if you somehow manage to actually make the jump in here scriptless just send me a video i would like to see that because i basically couldn't you can with uh, you can do this my okay sleep off. that was a very good jump that is pretty hard not, not really but in scriptless since your first strafe speed is also kept at 275 it is so hard to do this jump i don't know if possible maybe possible with tests but it is so hard if you manage to get it with default settings default fps and stuff send me a video please i would like to see that and um, but with biop without biop cap it's pretty easy you can even do it without uh bunny hopping okay so you, what you basically want to do is just do this if you are fast enough you can do a biop chain like this oh that was perfect nice edge back all right so in here there is a trick in this map in this mission that saves two seconds in scriptless with biop only and i highly not i highly 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 do not recommend you to do that if you really wonder what is it you can check the video in the description down below and um, i will i'm not gonna explain it just watch the video down below so after you have done this after you have watched the boring ass cutscene to be honest look the opening is so fun all right <laughs> after here uh sorry be up watchers we have to continue with the wr uh, video again all right so back to the secret this folks we have just done this and came here we can take the ammo in here doesn't really matter or just take them in there yeah yeah all right go here you can duck crawl here and uh, duck crawling on stairs is actually faster since you don't lose all your speed and you wanna press strafe in here so that you you fall down with a good amount of speed instead of with this you can do and duck crawl all right press this button take this nail over here this is very useful take the nade go here take the pistol as well do this go here go here go here take the nade in here that is very important go here uh, you can yeah you should kill those guys in there or they will disturb you if you're a biop guy you don't really have to kill them Actually, you don't really have to kill them. Anyways, just kill this guy. In here, just wait here so that they don't shoot you. You can lower your FPS. Um, that doesn't make sense. But never mind. By the way, I'm recording right here. Yes, I am. As soon as this happens, you want to go down there. Take, uh, kill this guy. Take the weapon here. Please take the weapon there. Kill this guy. Kill this guy now. Um, there is a thing with this weapon. Very useful. You reload and then you don't have to watch the full animation. I just switch weapons and then I go back to MP5 and it is fully reloaded. This is very useful. This is what you need to do. What you're going to do right now. Kill this guy, reload and take your nade and then nade first and when you come back to your weapon it will be fully reloaded. So, we are going to perform a nade first here. Throw need boost um to to do this perfectly without without yeah you don't really want to get too much boost in here so you so you, you want to bump in here basically bumping here will make things a lot faster you can save right before the nade explodes so that when you fail you have a better chance of doing it again Come here, take the HP. There are two HPs in here. There are two HPs in here. Take this. Uh, you have to take this. Don't forget about that. Okay. And then kill this guy. Uh, I don't really recommend you to jump here because you'll lose. Or you, or you can jump. I don't know. I usually duck roll here. I, uh, okay. Yeah, I actually lose. Okay, okay you can just jump. Enlightened. Kill this guy. Kill that guy. Reload. Go here. 
kill that guy. Kill this guy. Kill this guy. Jump here. Kill this guy if there is a one. Kill this guy. Kill this guy. Oh, this is very lucky. I have never seen that before. Usually you have to kill these two dudes, but this dude just that is that is something very new. Right uh, about the script. No, no, no. I will talk about the scripts uh, at the end of the video. Uh, right now, okay, never mind. Uh, if you are curious about the scripts, just check the end of the video. So you reload and take smoke. So you know you are not gonna get inside of this elevator. You press it and yeah, like this. You get the idea. You press it through the wall and then stay here. There's a trigger here which will just take you to the next chapter. NPC abuse, throw this nade here which will scare the NPC there and will let you uh, continue to the game. So press, go, hold. If you hold it, as soon as you get into the next chapter, it will just throw. But you have to throw it to the good uh, angle. Just, just throw it here. Uh, no, not here actually, here. This line should be okay. Yeah, that line is pretty much okay. Like that. This is an NPC abuse. There is a trigger there that the NPC needs to touch. And you just do it faster. Throw it there, continue. Take the HP and kill, the, kill at least four enemies in here or you will get crushed. Make jumps like this. Kill this dude, kill this dude, uh, turn on, kill, kill, and kill. Maybe I should stop saying kill. Lol, I got crushed. Take the HP if you are low on, kill this guy, and then take this. Animation cancel. Oops. Kill this guy, kill this guy. Oh, th there is going to be this explosion in here which will make you wait maybe like three or four seconds so after this fire is gone you're free to go uh, i wasted some time there man that's why this shoulder to kill these and then kill this one okay, nice aim go here pay and uh, make a little kz like this and then go here do this animation cancel and press e to him Give the bomb detonator. Take this stuff. Now we're gonna kill these folks. And then go here. In secreted, there are some weird things happening in here. <laughs> and now, as soon as we get to the other map, so now. Oh, there is a command that I forgot to get. BX2 foot view angles 1. And guess what? I don't remember the view angles. Let me just check real quick. So, there is this weird helicopter fight in here. Uh, which you need. Alright. Fortune Peach 74.5. Yo, this is what you need. Or no. Yeah, that's the old numbers. So the new numbers is minus 15.7 pitch and 75.7, 79.9 around these numbers. Yow. So you see those numbers? Big Steve would be bang this one. This is what you're going to use in here. So as soon as you get into the next map, press W A and then B and you just get to the you get to the minigun. W A and then D at the end. Because there's a box in here which you have to avoid. Let me show you. Here. So you do this. Now, we're, this that wall is non-existent. Let me be honest with you. That wall is non-existent. So we can just shoot the helicopter through this wall. Look, I'm shooting him right now. You can, you can see. You can see that I'm shooting. So this is what we're going to do. But, here's the thing. This helicopter uh, show triggers, right? I don't really remember. PXT hood. I don't really remember. Uh, show hidden entities. No, it's not. 
Wait, I'll find it in a second. Bixby show Bixby hot. Bixby hot. Confused. No. Okay, never no. <laughs> I don't really remember the command. So, this helicopter has different hitboxes. And you see the the front of the helicopter that's where you should hit because that's the only place uh, where he gets hit he gets damage the others are i don't really remember but you have to hit here you have to hit this side okay so to hit that we're gonna aim at minus minus 15.7 pitch or just minus 15 pitch and something around 75.7 .7 and 75.9 gal and now this might uh, it is not going to work 100% every single time since the recoil of the minigun is a bit too high so let's try 17 pitch and 75 or 15 excuse me okay So yeah, let, let's try this. As you can see, we just got crushed. Let's do that again. Yeah, this should work well. And we got crushed. Okay, this is literally the perfect one that you can get. This is the perfect one. Holy! <laughs> yeah, I, I've never had uh, such a, such good chopper fight as this. Let me be honest with you. Yeah, this is how it's done, and that's sacred core. By the way, you can use BXT or <laughs> BXT put in steam for one to uh, practice. As you can see, and um, I can see. Bad chopper left HP 950. But if you aim at the correct spot, you don't see him. That is a bit weird. Never mind. The key thing is to aim at exact this minus 15.7 pitch. Right, yeah, getting on with it. Um, where was I? Here. Yeah, we didn't reckon. Uh, in here. Just press W. And then go here. Ah yes, you're finally here. Bloody and here. Okay. We're going to watch a boring ass cutscene in here. This game has a total of ten minutes of cutscene. We are in Estonia. No, we are in Latvia. All right, I'm gonna skip here. So XT. I literally forgot the game thing. All right. So in here, you're gonna be blindfolded in here, unfortunately, it is a bit hard to do this, but you wanna jump here and then here, and we do skip, instead of, instead of going here, we're gonna make a jump in here, and then here, it might be a bit hard to do blindfolded, um, and it is, to be honest, anyways, let's jump in here, take this into... Your hand, dark roll, dark roll. These guys are stupid, they won't notice you. Go here, do this, go. And now, in here, there is a trick that saves 20 seconds. I'll put the tutorial on the description down below how to do this as well. But if you can get this consistently, hit me up, bro. I want to literally congr congratulate you. Um. It is very hard <laughs> and it saves 20 seconds and it is a cool trick but it is very inconsistent anyways check the description for very 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 advanced strap like this all right now we go here you can just go as well if you have if you're playing good you're gonna be up here Oh, 
In here, break, break, and switch weapons. It will be faster. Wall strafe. What do you mean? Oh, you think. You're gonna wait. Unethical. This organization revolves around being unethical. <laughs> Alright, so in here. As soon as Inde says no problem, you're free to go. No problem, and you're free to go. No problem. We could always throw icicles at an intruder. You can 4 FPS on the store. Uh, what is 4 FPS? And uh, explain on the on the trip mine thing in Lost Cause. But basically, if you do this, it's gonna be 200 milliseconds faster on every single trigger. Don't touch these here. If you do, this guy will wake up. So you wanna make a jump like this. Duck roll. Go here. Wall strafe as fast as possible. Go downstairs with the fast other climb. Go here. Jump. Jump. Duck roll. Duck roll and then jump. Duck roll. You can't duck roll here, unfortunately. So you're gonna jump there. Duck roll, jump, go here. You can 4 FPS as well, wall stray. Take everything here and then a uh, camera. You need the camera, of course. And uh, take everything in here while wall strafing and then take the photo and then take the rest of the ammos. Go here. And uh, kill this guy through the door. And there's also someone in here. Kill him. Like this. And then go, jump and crouch, go here, go here. And then there's a trigger here. Oh, don't make a fall like that. There is a trigger right here. You want to jump that so you can do this. Okay, that, that only happens in the BR category, right? Never mind. Wait. Dark roll. Kill this guy. Kill this. Kill this guy, we jump here, kill this guy, kill that guy, because the NPC, uh, like where NPCs go are random, let's say you're playing B up and you want to be up all the way through, that doesn't really happen since they all move to different places at different times, it is random, so this guy is probably going to block your way, that's why I said kill him. You can't wall strafe and then jump here because you have too much speed. So wall strafe and then do normal W and then jump. Okay. Kill this guy. Have at least 3 ammo here. And uh, you don't have to kill any of these folks here because for this dude to start opening the door, he's not opening right now. Even though the animation is there, he's not. You only have to kill these three. And kill these three, he will start um, opening the door. And with your people like this. Now we wait. You can crouch here to not uh, get pushed by this guy here. He most of the time he pushes you if you go like this, like this. Uh, kill this guy and continue. So in here there is a scripted sequence, but. Uh, I, yeah, that is, yeah, and then, what, I'm just mentioning them, alright, you can check the end of the video if you want to check, check those. Uh, so this, go here, take the ammo and M4, and, uh, armor and M4 in here, you might as well take the ammo, take the HP, now go here. Now go with the Deagle, go down here, kill this guy, take the nade in here. Take an alien here, it is very important. And shoot the barrel through the wall. There's a barrel there. Like this. Alright, now. This is gonna be very fun. <laughs> so, what we're going to do, make a jump like this, and make a jump like this. And then, make boost like this. We here, we are flying. Oh, how fun, right? And this jump is easy. Here to here, and then here to here. Now. In the old strat, we used to surf up here and then boost, because this boost was very hard. But I found a new way to boost. And that is through crouching early. But 
you can take a look at this boost and then this boost which is gonna give way more height I mean that that wasn't really obvious there but for some reason you can see what I'm doing differently I crouch earlier and as soon as the bomb is about to explode I jump so we do it in here throw here save and then it just that was a perfect one but do it towards this side if you somehow manage to get in here you're gonna fall off if you somehow not fall off i would like to see how it is done so send me a video all right i uh, usually land here and then surf all the way down here you're lucky if you don't die in here just like this i was lucky take out your m4 kill this dude kill this dude do not fall down back crawl here and weapon loves this is the baby that you have been waiting for do i not have the bind oh yeah bind g weapon stupid game and not not saving my binds bind g weapon loves Thanks. Here we go. I take the weapon. Uh, take your Mac 10. Dark roll, dark roll. Dark roll, dark roll. Take the HP. And then. He, you don't really have to take your Mac 10. Just kill this dude he, if he's standing in here. Otherwise, he has a high chance of killing you. But you can just go with the Beagle as well in this case. If you have enough HP like this, like 30 is pretty good, to be honest. You can just skip all of them without dying like this oh that was a great shot at the end i'm not going to lie all right so that happens that's why i told you to take out your neck but uh, there, there is why okay he's supposed to disappear in here i have no idea why is he here to be honest yeah like this never mind and um, blow up this squirrel there is also another secret that sequence here. Uh, or no, was it? I don't remember. It's been a it's been a while. Okay. And now, if you take out this thing, you're gonna get stuck. So what you're going to do is take all of these and then take, uh, equip this in here. This is how it's gonna. Uh, be. There's a trigger inside that you can use this. This can use this only in here so you want to you want to like make it ready when you press left click it's going to equip so you press five twice so fire twice take these and then come here to get the idea now uh, take the hp through the wall in here we're taking this hp through the wall Take HP through the wall. Now a nice trick in here. So now this is what you're going to do. And take this weapon. Save load here. And then... So save loading basically makes you use this faster. You see? It cancels the animation. Like this. So. Uh, there's another reason why you save load here. Is to cancel this guy's animation so that it doesn't shoot you and make a uh, louder like this to get more height you do the same thing you crouch earlier but you have to delay your jump with this because it doesn't explode as soon as you throw it you get the idea so you have to just make a boost here like this this is a nice boost if bind you up you can just be up all the way down go here and then skip do this this guy is going to run to you probably like this so you just shoot here shoot this guy don't reload take the hp and shoot this guy and then start reloading so there are various ways of doing here. I'm not really. So there is a trigger in there. You have to touch it in order to... Like, let me show you. Even if I just kill every single one of the uh, terrorists in here. 
that door is not going to open because I didn't touch this. When I touch it, it will start to open. Yeah. Don't ask why is there a lot of terrorists there. This is condition zero. Everything can happen. So yeah, you have to kill them. And so what you're going to do is to touch this trigger as soon as possible. And I haven't timed it, but you can do this. Throw that um, so that you blow up the barrel over there and then kill these folks without ever stopping to kill them. You, you touch this trigger, or you can just do this and then do this. So you can do that or that. Uh, I haven't timed it. This seemed faster, but it really depends on your movement and how you played and stuff. And right, let's do this again. Uh, yeah, in here, after you've done all of this, you have to kill these guys at the end. So, the most optimal way is to shoot here. We'll just kill every single dude inside. Let's do it again. Okay, okay, this is a bit too fast. I wouldn't like this. Alright, like this. Save out and then shoot. Here we go. And then this door will open. Also kill that guy. Okay. Go in here. Take out your deagle. Because you're gonna kill this guy. Oh, that is very surprising. This guy, 99% of the time, blocks you. So you just shoot him. But not this time apparently. Right, so in this case, you can you can do this. So as you can see, I have a very good amount of armor somehow. Uh, armor and HP. So you can make a little low boost like this. This is gonna be faster by a lot. Like 5 seconds. If you don't die, of course. But most of the time, you're not gonna have enough HP. If you don't go here killing these and because they're probably gonna block you so you have to just kill them all right so you don't have to deal with this guy if you have good hp but i don't at the moment so i'm gonna shoot him i crawl shoot this guy and now take this 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 everything why well, why do i keep saying this you can see it right there was a funny thing in here yeah, <laughs> nice detail, right? All right, uh, take everything, take up your love, save load, and then make a boost like this. Uh, of course, persuasion will make it faster, but you just have to make it here. Make sure everything is reloaded, uh, especially mech. Take everything in here. Shoot him with a mech, take the HP, and now make this to and love this. This is faster by a couple of seconds. Instead of going around, you can go there. But this is a bit hard compared to other ones. Take everything in here. And now what we are going to do is... Um, he's supposed to stay here. So what you can do is, you can start defusing and then shoot him. But this isn't the case right now, unfortunately. Let's try it again. Never mind. There is also this strat. You can throw a smoke nade and then basically ninja defuse. If you can get it. If you can throw it in here and then ninja defuse, that also works. But I don't really do that. See? You can do this. But. This isn't really essential since you can do this. Like, just go there, start defusing, and then just kill them. And then stay in here so that they don't shoot you, but kill this guy. You have to kill that guy. And yeah. And this is great and reckon. This, this mission is really fun. I gotta admit. This is really fun. Right. Drag lab. <laughs> After you watch the long ass cutscene. Land up here. So there are some 
nade boosts in here which if you do that you won't be able to do the next one if you you know so if you're a biop guy um you can just e hop you don't really have to do the nade boost and i'm going to show you that it's probably slow up. so you go here uh, i don't recommend you to do this boost but you can do this in here and then to the, to the tree in here how much does this save i don't know probably two or three seconds there is a better nade boost that is a bit harder than this but uh, if you can get it, it's, it's gonna save a lot of time. So, alright, so you can do this nade boost if you want to, but I don't recommend this. I would just recommend you to go here and do this trick. And uh, cut the lock through, through this. So now, if you, if you do the boost, uh, here is the route. So, you go here. You don't have to kill any of these. You are, you are pretty much free to go. Okay. You can go just like this, but I have a, a very low HP right now. Uh, in here, if you have enough HP, you can make a climb like this in here, which I don't right now. So it is it is pointless. So I can just go here. If you have low HP, you can go here. But this route is for very 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 beginners. I'm gonna show you a different nade boost, which is going to un uh, make all of these unnecessary. Okay, so this was the route if you're going to do the nade boost at the beginning. Now we have this faster route. We go here, secret this with B hop or not, we go here, cut block. stupid anyways and now we have to kill uh, all the enemies in here kill this one kill that one kill this one kill this one you can do this faster you can do this a lot faster I'm just stupid right now but just make sure you have enough HP and armor for the nade so in here this is a very nice trick Make sure you have good HP and armor just like this. By the way, if you don't kill them, they will just come here and eat all their armor. That's why you kill them in this route. Uh, it's still, it's gonna be way faster because we're gonna do this nade boost in here. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna nade boost here, and then like you cannot like these. There are just invisible barricades around, but there's a tiny, tiny little bit. Uh, space that you can go through and it's here so if you can manage to go there you're gonna skip all of this section you go here and plant the bomb and then wait for it to explode and stuff you're gonna skip all of these and then just land here but that's why it's uh, very more very more faster than that so now that we go excuse me okay now we go here throw the nade and make a nade just like this it's it is a bit hard dude okay and this is what happens when you save load over and over again unfortunately um this is not going to happen to you in a normal run because you're not gonna save load over and over again in here just to show something so yeah, you're gonna do this. And uh, you nade boost there. You take this weapon, and then as soon as you hit the trigger in here, you start, you know, left click. And north port was it? Was my north port working? I don't think so. Never mind. So you left click in here, and that basically stops you in air. The reason I'm dying is I save loaded so much that NPCs are mad at me. It happens. Anyways, that's the trick. It saves a lot. Of, it saves good amount of time. And you go here. 
And now that we have low HP, we can't just ignore the enemies in here, so we're gonna kill this guy. Take your nade. Oh, I don't have a nade. It's because we used it right, right, that. If you don't do any of these nade boosts, just throw a nade in there. And then wait. Just go inside. And you, you, have, you can ignore all of these. But... If you did the nade boost, you're not gonna have a nade, so you can just tr throw, a, throw a smoke nade, I believe. Throw a smoke nade, and then go inside, kill them, and then plant. Uh, you can take the HP, since we have literally no. This guy, kill this guy, ignore that guy, kill this guy, and then kill this guy. Follow this route, make a jump here, take the HP so that you don't die. If you are fast in here, you can, yeah, you can do this. If you are not, you have to kill him. You have to duck roll and press through. It's not that hard. But even though you do it, you'll still have to uh, heal with them. Okay, what was that? So, yeah. So take some HP. Now we're gonna uh, just follow this route. Just follow what I'm doing in here. One more door to That was a bit poorly made, but you can watch the WR video then. Um, yeah, that was poorly. Here my plant, and then take them here so that they don't die. Blow it up, and then wait here and shoot the guy, shoot the barrel. There is a terrorist there, which you will wait. How did? Okay, this game is stupid, as you can see. Literally. Two tapped me from there. There's literally a wall. And he just two tapped me. Anyways. Shoot here. And. Do this. I use scout. You can use this. It would actually be faster to use this plant. Okay, this is what you do in here, and then you have a long ass waiting sequence. You can just kill yourself in here, and you'll still pass the mission, and that's the rock lab. We got motorcade assault, um, this is a pretty short chapter. After the long ass cutscene again, you're in here. <coughs> so. We're gonna use this a lot, weapon mobs. So now we're waiting, just wait here. All positions, check in. So you have to follow a specific route in here. If you don't, this door uh, opens 15 seconds later. So you have to shoot when this guy commands you. Like this. So now, in here, after you. After you after you use your loves, uh, instantly switch weapons. Don't let the animation. Uh, don't let the animation finish. If you do, you're you'll never be able to use your uh, loves again. So switch weapons instantly. Now follow this route here. You have to kill these terrorists in this order. Otherwise, you will lose 15 seconds. In this order, and the door just opens instantly. If you don't, this door opens 15 seconds later. So now, do not get blocked by this guy. You have to stand in here and rush. Otherwise, this guy will block you. Uh, go here, skip them, take this weapon, and save load. Save loading will cancel the animation and actually let you 
uh, use it. Go here and low boost here. So now here is an edge bug strat. You can jump and make an edge bug in here. But this is a bit risky. This saves like two seconds. Um, and well the reason is we need HP for the upcoming love boost. And if you can manage your HP very well, you can go for this. Not you can take the HP in here, which is gonna make things a lot easier. <laughs> so I think you need at least 40 HP and get there. Then yeah, let me show you. I, I'll go with the edge bug now. By the way, this edge bug is weird. You have to tap S at the end to actually not die. Jump, lower the FPS, and tap S. Okay, I, I didn't reload apparently. You, you reload your oak. Well, come here. Okay, and now kill these. Uh, you don't want to lose HP. So you wanna kill them. And skip the last one. Here, go here. Kill these two. You don't have to reload. Take the HP and the. Uh, um, you know that thing. Now go here. And now take your pistol. Kill this guy. Now this is very risky in here because the snipers are gonna be very annoying. If you are lucky, they will not even deal you a single hit. If you are, if you are not, you're gonna. You might as well just die here. There we go here. Let's see if this HP is enough. I'm not sure. 32 is probably not enough. Let's let's try again. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. All right, 47. 47 is enough. And here, I'm gonna skip just by doing a boost like this. Go here, aim around here, and then make boost. If you have high HP, you can just do this, just flick. Uh, if you don't, yeah. If you can't manage your HP, then I don't recommend you to do the edge bug and go take the HP there. Now you basically go here and then do this. Yeah. Then go here. There is a trigger here that you need to touch after killing the enemies. So make sure you just go there. And then kill them. And I just died. Interesting. An invitation? And this is Mother K assault, just like that. No, don't kill them, you might fail. We have got T nice. After a long ass cutscene. You go here for a PSD sword, which is gonna and it's sooner. Okay, go here and then make a jump like this. This jump is a bit uh, weird. Like this. We can manage to get it without bumping to anywhere. That's pretty decent. Kill this guy. Duck roll here, you don't have to jump. Uh, take the bombu. Land, take the HP, uh, animation cancel, and then go back. Kill this guy so he doesn't block you. And this guy as well. Take the shotgun here. It is actually to, it's actually possible to finish this mission without ever taking the shotgun, which would save like a second. Yeah, you know, not taking this specifically in the BO category. But yeah, we take it. It's not worth it. Take this, go here, duck roll here, take the shotgun, kill this guy, kill this guy, hello, kill, excuse me, kill this guy, uh, turn off, turn off, kill him, and then turn off, and then hit the turret, now wait here, kill this guy, go here, you don't have to kill that, jump here, turn. Jump here. Go, we don't have to deal with the turrets. Uh, you can either use shotgun or this pistol. Pistol will be faster since 
Uh, it has higher walking speed, and you can use shotgun as well. Take a nade here, don't forget it. Take the HP and then go here. So kill this guy, reload. Go here, now we have a nade boost. Go a nade here. Not there, actually. Here. And then nade boost. I don't go that high. Just do this. Should be enough. Go down, take your shotgun. Because these guys are mad. You want to deal with them carefully. Take the HP. Go here. You can use shotgun or pistol for this guy. I use pistol. Also, this guy reload. Go here. Blind. Now we have a trick. Uh, you can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kill, kill him with pistol. It's not a big deal. And then you don't have to kill this guy, guy because he. He act, maybe you have to. Because most of the time or sometimes he, he just blocks you. So it's better to just kill him rather than uh, ignoring. Yeah. So they will just kill him. Like this. Now. You want to do this. Yes. You have to catch here. So this is pretty easy. You just have to go fast. Uh, you have to wall strafe and then we go. Wall strafe. Go. And then you can follow a quest at the end. Which will make it a lot easier. Uh, if you miss it. If you miss it. You can still uh, catch because of the 4 FPS. Alright. Uh, after that. We go here and now BXT hood, BXT show, no, 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 BXT hot entity info one. This will be good for practicing, but do not use this in once. This is good for practicing. So, kill this guy, take this A AVP, but do not take it before it lands on the ground because your game might crash if you pick it up before it lands on the ground. Let's try. No, I couldn't. Never mind. So now, um, as soon as you take this, we are going to go here and then shoot it. But you can see when it appears on the top right, and the hitbox just appeared. Now I can start shooting. Even though you can't see the plane, if I shoot, it will get damaged. So for that, go here, shoot three times. So that you deal in damage before. And then go here. Now start shooting here. But this is a terrible one because I tried no scope. That's a lesson. You shouldn't try no scope. Do not try no scope. It is RNG. can deal with it just like this. That's it. Alright, here we go. Down pilot. This is gonna be a pain for you in this game. Just saying. <laughs> this mission is pain. It is harder uh, compared to the other chapters. Right, so if you are a B-hop runner, you're gonna do something like this. You're gonna get some boost and then skip all these enemies in here. like that uh, well uh, I have to say that this mission is all about armor management at least uh, until the half of it um, by the way um, bunny up runners just watch the WR video alongside this tutorial so yeah it's a normal secret display you're just gonna go here kill this guy you need armor so you can just kill those Folks, not lose that much armor. So in for the nade boost, you need at least 56. So you have to be careful about that. The normal casual rod in here, just going to show. Jump over this. Try not to get hit in here by the snipers. I avoid them all and now kill him. Okay, I lost a lot of armor apparently this is not good 
64 is very low for uh, for here. So let's say you have eight armor here. You can go risky. But if you have low armor, just like me right now, you might want to go a little bit safer. You don't want to go below 56. 56 is the least amount of armor that you can, uh, you know. Okay. Well, this is very risky, I have to admit. This guy won't leave me alone, you. Okay, I just don't want to lose that one armor. Okay. Reload in here. And then... This guy... As I said, if you have good armor right now, you can go risky. Activate, reload in here. But I don't, so I have to go a little bit safer right now. I'm literally at the border. So now in here, um, just do this. But here's the thing. If you do this thing as a weird... Yeah, you can do it like this and lose no, no armor at all. But then, I think there is a trigger in here. No, there isn't actually. Okay, never mind. If you have low armor, be careful about this. This thing eats two armor, and this barrel eats a lot of armor. But you can just do it like this. To avoid it, but it seems to be not working. Okay, now we should. You can do it like this, and then await this as well. Or. If your armor is way too low, you can deal with them manually, which will be slower. But... Like this. Anyways, let's continue with 57 armor. And uh, take this, and turn it on, take your stuff, and then go. And here is the thing, when you blow up the barrel, it actually breaks here as well, so it's, it's better to blow it up. But this is weird, what is this trigger? Never mind. Let's continue now. Now take this weapon, shoot this guy, and flashbang and smoke. Smoke first and then flashbang. This will be perfect. Throw this first. And then flashbang, and then take your... And then deal with them. You don't have to kill them, but I just killed them, just in case. Now if you have good armor, you can just rush all the way down here and then go. But I don't. So I, I'm gonna kill this guy. I literally have 56, which is the... This guy had to obviously ruin it. Alright, if you have good HP, a good armor, you are the king, basically. But I don't. So 56 is literally the uh, least amount of armor you can have in here. So about this Natus. This is the Natus we have been waiting for. Um, you see this line here. That uh, connects here. Comes from here and here. So you want to go there. You can hold Ctrl Alt E for a uh, slow movement and then just put your mouse all the way down here and then here's what you do you put your course you put yourself in the course of there and then save and throw and keep crouching so yeah that's the that's the boost that is the boost all right it's easy but you know you need you need armor management and go here animation cancel take the hps back roll you can make a jump here and then kill that guy also 
and activate. Now we're gonna we're gonna get poisoned. Now we are going to perform a movement blindfolded. So this is the moment. WD and a bit of W and then take it and then go here. So you're gonna do it blindfolded just like this. It's not that hard. And then spend E in here. Okay, why is it not working? Excuse me. I've never seen this kind of stuff. Oh, I didn't touch. Wait, how? How did I even pick up the knife and didn't touch the trigger? Okay, that's interesting. <laughs> Never really seen that before. No, you can't. Oh, you can actually. Okay. <laughs> Don't forget to touch the trigger. We just learned something new right now. And press E and step once so that it turns to you. German moment. Never waiting. By the way, I have 63 HP for some reason. I don't know why. A couple of months ago, I think I I knew like I knew the connection between uh, sometimes you have lower, sometimes higher HP, but I just don't remember right now. <laughs> So we have 63 HP for some reason. Anyways, wait here, step in once, take this and kill this guy. Done. Take everything in here and then reload. And yes, that is a half life uh, loot box. And make a jump here. Should just take this nade, don't forget about it. Do not forget. Go here, jump here. And we can kill. My HP seems bad actually. Alright, so here are two ways of continuing here. Uh, the harder one is to jump back. You you guys remember when I mentioned jump back. And by the way, I am stupid. I just gave you guys a wrong FPS value for the jump pack. This is the correct one. Uh, I will warn you all in the description down below. Um, I just I just forgot that you had to extract 0 0.5 since this is the Steam engine, Steam client. Um, I was doing the same. <laughs> I was doing the. Uh, I I was recording a video for a tutorial uh, in this mission. And I decided to redo it again because I'm like, hey, wh why does this jump back uh, doesn't work? And then I realized that I just had the wrong FPS value. This is the correct one and I will uh, warn you all in the description. Alright, so there are two ways of doing this. The easiest way. This way to... And um, you can skip here. But I highly recommend you to take the smoke grenades. It is worth losing one second to take this nade. So I recommend you to take that. And the HP also, and then continue here. And in here it is. Okay, I shouldn't really save there. In here, you have to. Okay, I, I saved again. All right. You really have to like. Okay, I recommend you to clean these guys. You can skip them, but it is a bit risky because you're gonna gonna make a an nade boost here. And that's that's the skip. And if you don't kill them, they might ruin your armor. So you can skip them if you want, but it is safer to kill them. Just just saying. And now there is the second route, which is five seconds faster. And but it is very hard. Alright, so you go here, kill this guy. You don't even have to kill the guy. Throw a nade, take this stuff, and then nade boost up here, and then perform a jump bug in here. This is hard, yeah. Here we go, that's the jump bug. And if you're playing scripted, you can just bind it to whatever you like and it is very easy. 
But if scriptless, it is hard to get it first try. This says five seconds. And and there is a possibility that these guys can shoot you midair. If you are midair and these guys shoot you, the jump bug is never going to work for some reason. So there is a little bit of RNG to that as well. And you have to land here. Okay. Look, I just got hit. It didn't work. Okay, what the hell? Excuse me. Yeah, this is jump pack. Take the HP. Go here. Press E. Kill this guy. Now take everything in here. And now I did not grab. Okay, here we go. I'm doing it again. I did really did not pick up the smoke grenade. Here we go, okay. Now that we go here. Smart grenade is useful. Take this guy. Take everything here. Now there's a trigger here that we need to touch this one. Touch it and throw a smoke grenade. So what we are basically going to do is to only kill the boss. It's him. This guy. This guy has a lot of HP and we're just going to kill him and then take this guy to the rescue zone. And then try not to die. And try not to let this die, guy die. And try... Mm, yeah, that's basically it. This guy basically has not to die. You have to protect him. And the fastest way of doing that is... Uh, we kill the boss and then rescue. And then clean out the rest. Because the, the end cutscene activates when you rescue him. And so in that time you basically have to save him. But yeah, you know, you, you get the idea. So what you're going to do is touch the trigger. Alright, you get the idea. I'm gonna try for the last time. You can watch the WR video as well. Oh, yeah, I finally made it. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I finally made it. Uh, the commander will say the alpha war the package is secured and um, yeah and then you can basically complete the mission if our guy does not die this should be fine yeah here we go <laughs> Ooh, he really crushed him yeah okay that's down pilot the ending was a bit bad i know couldn't really um Commentate properly and play properly, but you get the idea. Alright, hunk a guy time. Alright, so as soon as you start, there's a long ass cutscene again. How did you know? Yeah. After the long ass cutscene, you are going to perform an NPC abuse. This one. This is a nice trick. It's very easy. Okay. okay, lower your FPS so that it turns faster. He's just making a 360 turn for some reason. Anyways, go here. Ray, duck roll, duck, duck roll. Go here. So kill this guy. And why are you. Wait, what are you doing? My game is weird right now. I don't know. This never happened. Kill this guy. Kill this guy. And wait for that guy over there. If he dies in three headshots, so just three headshot and then jump here, reload. Go here. Jump over here. Take out your USB just in case they block the path. But you can go here. Go in here. Down, jump for FPS those. Take the HP in here. And get a little skip. You can duck roll saves a lot of time by the way, as you can see. And make a jump here, and then make a jump here. You can flawlessly get into, but and by the way, if this retard shoots you, it's just. Anyways, go here. 
and boss rave so now in here there is a very hard strap that i don't recommend you to do but before that uh, let's talk about barrel boost so in here you make a jump here and then here but you can do this which uh, it saves uh, very like cool like this maybe like 500 milliseconds i don't know and then after that you make a jump here there's usually an edge you can grab to and then you make a jump here and basically go this is the normal route this is the normal route that i use and then break the box lower fps to 20 and then push it you can see the speed difference between this is the 100 fps push and this is the 20 fps push you see the difference that's why you lower it to 20. Get it here and then uh, this is supposed to be here. And then you push it. And then make a jump here. Alright, that's the normal route. Now we have this stupid boost. Basically you go there and then into this guy. Wait for him to sh hit you. And then you want to make a boost to there. Oh, here we go. I literally did it. Okay. It is very hard by the way specific specifically to get this save oh, okay this is this is so lucky specifically like you can, if you can get the save it is actually okay and um, by the way i didn't time how much this saves but it saves at least five seconds for sure if you can get it first try anyways this trick is stupid and hard and i don't recommend you to do that it is random when he's going to hit you or push you i tried to manipulate in every ways in lots of different ways and he, it's just random if you can find a better way to do this hit me up and now i'm literally going to okay here we go now there is another strat in here um as if we didn't really touch the triggers in here and we can't touch the triggers in here but so there is another strat in here about the npcs in here um okay i never really checked what i guess you have to touch the trigger in here yeah if you touch the trigger in here if you go this route these two guys will re uh, spawn in here and you can do the same boost to get here you stay here let the guy push and then jump and crouch and then you can get there but that is that is pretty hard and random and you know just don't want to do it instead you just take this and then push it push this and then go there and turn off triggers go there here once turn and go so here, take the HP. Now we get a nice trick again. This trick here is basically this. This. Saves a good amount of time. So, in normal route, you have to clean every single terrorist in here and then press that button. And then the door opens. Instead, you can just make a boost. He's still. Oh, yeah, no, no, no. You don't have to kill a any terrorist in here. You just have to touch a trigger in here. Sorry. Okay, I, it's, it's been a long while. Okay, I don't really remember this. So, I'm gonna show the trick. Uh, why are you blocking me? Anyways, you go here, shoot a bit so that you take the attention of this shotgun dude and then and then you need the boost okay this guy decided to come this game is stupid as i said this we will we'll do it with this guy so you need to boost of the shotgun hit in order to get uh, on top of that guy's head so you do this time your jump when this guy is about to shoot you like this and then jump here that's it all right if you just jump it's not going to work you have to time you have to time it like this and then make a jump here and 
mean, kill this dude and the mission is over. This is it. Alright, turn off the crank. So, this chapter is very short. After a long cutscene. Cutscene. And everything. <coughs> Press this. And if secrypted, there is a nice trick that says 10 seconds or something. But uh, secrypted, you just go here and press left click. Enter and enter home, see you late. Up, yeah, amigo. This looks good. Go here. And here. And save load. Hold WA and then just save load. And yeah. Say lot, go here, take the AK. So in here you can do various kinds of jumps. And I duck uh can't jump in here would be past I believe. But it is it is not the ideal strat that you would do. So you can you can just do this. Duck roll, duck roll, go here, here, here. But here's the thing. If you save load a lot, NPCs get mad. Your armor gets crushed. So I'm gonna do this again without save loading. You need your armor for that to make battle boost. Also HP. Alright. We go here. Look, I have way better armor now and I don't okay. Okay, I don't. I basically don't. Okay, 71. Take the HP. Go here. You can you can just skip that guy. Uh, it will be safer to kill him. Never mind. Go here, shoot it once and then boost. Go here, shoot it once and then boost. This uh, breaks in two shots. Or below seven two shots, so you can just do that as well. Get here. Take HP, take armor. Here there's a there's a hidden armor. Take him. Kill this guy and shoot here. Go here. You can do some dark balls in here. Jump here. Okay, jump, jump, jump. And then go here. Break this. Now, if you are very low on HP, you can go here. And I got stuck, okay. To not die. But if not, just just go here. Just, just go here. Yeah, why am I throwing this? Just jump here and reload your AK. Your, you get, now, thing is, you have to start shooting him before his dialogue ends. So, this is a good save right now. When I do this, he's dead. That's the boss fight. Or you can save one second by doing this but it is very risky because he has a greater chance of killing you and also the others anyways um, I did that in the IL run something like a second passer but you should just do this before his dialogue ends you have to start shooting before his dialogue ends sometimes he dies but the running animation kicks in so he just goes slowly walks into here slowly walks into i guess here and then he dies uh, if you fail he will just go all the way down there it's a huge waste of time so they will just do this yep that was a fail you can practice with bxt hood um, entity info one he has how much 2000 hp no, you can deal with him like this. 
Yeah, yeah, that was the turn of crank. Like Adamo is a weird chapter. We used to do a lot of nade boosts in this mission, but then we realized that it is actually slower to do them. So here is what you do. Um, this is <laughs> this jump is a bit weird. So yeah, you have to get a little bit of press rate to do that. But if you don't want to do this, you can just jump here and then here. But yeah, you can do this as well with a good first strafe. And I'm failing it somehow. Okay. Go here. Jump down, first strafe and then jump here again. Go here. Uh, the reason late boosts were were slower is because we had to stop and take the armor here for example there were lots of uh, st stopping that was caused by the date boost so we don't do them instead so you now go and for a case this over here 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 jump down take the take that nade by the way take that nade now there are like we used to nade boost here as well, but or were we? I don't think so. Never mind. Uh, you can do this. Oh yeah, we used to nade boost here from here to there. But here's the thing: um, you have to stop. Or you have to go a bit further to take more HP and that costs you a lot of time. So it it doesn't save you any time to do this boost. Um so for that reason we are not nade boosting here anymore. But you can do this boost. It is very hard, but if you can manage to get it, it is it saves time. If you ask why, it doesn't eat a lot of armor and HP, I believe. Never mind, this is so stupid. Don't even care about it, just go here. And take the HP here. And go, okay. So if you do the nade boost, you will have to stop and take this HP. One, two, three, which costs you three seconds. Probably. So yeah, we don't take that. Instead, we just go normal. Hey, stop shooting me! Go here. If you did that nade boost, uh, you also had to stop and take the armor in here. She's another time loss. So that's why we don't do it anymore. Over here. Okay. So in here, if you have enough HP, you can do this nade boost here. This is the only nade boost that is going to save time. If you have enough HP. So that is unlikely to happen as well. Which in this case, we don't have enough HP. What you can do to do that nade boost is you can go here, <laughs> which is another uh, waste of time, probably like a second or two. And I'm not sure. I haven't timed them. Timed them. I just know that if you have enough HP until here, that nade boost saves time, and that is the only boost that actually saves time in this mission. There are lots of nade boosts you can do, but they don't save that much time or maybe even lose I haven't timed it but maybe you can try and see if taking this and then nade boosting loses any time or saves any time and what I used to do was just go normal not even taking those just going straight and then building the piece 
Let's... And if you are very low on HP and you think that you're gonna die... Okay... Retarded NPC... If you are very low on HP and you think that you're gonna die, you can take that HP... But other than that, you're fine because there is an HP packet over there and here... So just rescue them... Now we got a long fighting sequence of defense. Take the HPs in here, here and there. So I will just let you watch what is going to happen in here. So as you can see, I am moving my camera to here and then there because it just spawns more enemies. If I do this, if I just look at here, the game will basically soft lock because it's not going to spawn any enemies. They do not spawn to wherever you look at. And you might ask, wouldn't that just make the helicopter mm, clean its way, far more efficient and, you know, just continue? No, it doesn't. Let's see. Look, it just keeps going around. It doesn't, it doesn't stay, uh, come to here. So, in order to continue, you have to not do that. And to spawn enemies faster, I just do this. Look, it just spawned. It just spawned again. Yeah, example. So now, you should look out for this guy over here. He is the dangerous one. Not anybody else. You should look out for him. He shoots the helicopter, mission fail. There we go. Right. And yeah, that's Alamo. Bryce Hart, the last chapter of the main game. After a long cutscene, you end up here. Here. <coughs> so, bunny hoppers, there is a nice trap for you. If bunny hopping, you do this. To this strat which is very fast right yeah that that was a strat it's called gothar nate strat because gothar found it but to the normal normal guys now let's secret these folks we do this jump here that ball jump we want to just rush here Take HP here. Kill this guy. Take the nade in here. It's gonna be useful. Kill this guy. Kill this guy. Kill those guys. Take the take everything in here. It's gonna be useful. So now you can either use your shotgun or diggle in here. I I use I use shotgun. Take the nade in here. Don't forget about that. And by the way, if you are going, oh, never mind, no need to actually mention that. Yeah, uh, be careful about this guy over here. He's very dangerous. This dude over here. He's gonna ruin your run. Anyways, after that, we got a sh um, shortcut here. If you touch the trigger here, it will actually um, a shortcut. So you go here. Kill this guy, shortcuts, if you have low HP, take HP, shoot these guys, take the armor there, go here, be careful about that guy as well, don't let him hit you, 
should not let him hit you since you need to uh, move like that shoot the guy and take everything and radio take everything and then radio go here run all right there we go that's it so now if they are going to spawn here right the you can shoot them the through the wall you can shoot this guy through the wall so that he runs to somewhere else and what you can do here is you can ignore all again uh, yeah. uh, that's why i told you to not let the low guy shoot you uh, you don't need the armor i i just confused but uh, in order to ignore these enemies here you need a bit of hp let's just put it like that so you can go here, kill only these two here. Nice, nice to go. Kill only these two and then plant the bomb. I don't have enough HP right now, but if you somehow end up having enough HP, you can do this. Okay, I actually made it. You can do this, it's gonna be faster to ignore them, take HP, reload. Right now we got a easy trick. So I told you to take the smoke grenade just for this trick over here. And after you have done all of this, stay here and shoot these guys. Shoot that guy. And you don't really you don't really have to shoot these. Only shoot that guy. Or maybe you don't even have to take him down as well. Yeah, you don't have to take him down as, uh, as well. So you want to pick, uh, pick up your smoke grenade and also take the one here, throw it there and throw it there. Normally you have to plant bombs and then detonate them, but you can just throw smoke grenades and it will actually just trigger them. That's it. Let me go back. Uh, it my recommend would be to clear every single terrorist in here because we're going to perform a nade boost and we need full armor and nearly full hp uh, for, if you trust your rng you can you can simply ignore these two but it is no guarantee that you're gonna um, have good hp so just kill him take these and then go inside reload So now there will be a terrorist up here and I forgot the numbers. There is a specific spot which and Yao you can look up to to kill the enemy in here. But I don't remember it right now. Let's see if he's dead. Yeah he's over there. So yeah you want to kill this guy. Yeah, yeah, here we go. 65, minus 65 pitch and 5 yaw. As soon as the elevator stops, you can start shooting. And then shoot this guy over here. And then we're gonna make a nade boost now. Go on top of this, throw and then nade boost. Like this. That is a lot of height. Okay, this is the perfect one. Let me go here. Take out your shotgun. Do what I do. Not really much of a commentary needed. Ignore them all. Kill, kill on this guy. Take the two medkits in here. Go down here. Kill only this guy again and take the armor and HP. Go down here. 
Now, pick up this nade over here. It will be needed. If you did the gutter nade strat, uh, scriptless with B op runners go take the nade over there. But if you're a normal scriptless runner, you don't have to take it. I don't remember whether I did the strat or not. I probably did not in the save, so I have enough nade. But I'm going to take it anyways. So take it and nade boost here like this. Um, you can do it from here, which is gonna be faster, obviously. Now we're going here, trigger, shoot him through the wall, just do something like this, take the armor and HP, kill these folks, throw a nade over there, and then nade boost, perfect, kill him, and in here, get caught, now lower your FPS to 20, this will make you gain the control of the character way more faster for some reason let's see right now we're gonna see wake up and just hold w and a and w and a you will pick up the knife wake up. Wake up. just like this i just gained the control of the effect character way more earlier Let, let's say i have 100 hp see what happens you're gonna wait, wait, and wait. Oh wait, I didn't actually. It's because I, I, I have put my. I have, yeah, you can try and see. There's a long cutscene, but if you put it to twenty, it will just skip. So after that, there is a trick that saves three seconds. So normally, as you can see, it takes three steps to open the store. Um, what you can do is deal them one critical hit and you need so after you grab the knife you want to save load so the fading screen just disappears wake up, wake up. just like this and then give him one good step wonder how that works it is damn wait yeah like this he has to be looking like in front of you and looking into you literally and then you just uh, knife him like this it deals him one giant critical hit and you can it this saves three seconds like this if you fail it's gonna be take three steps just like this Take the HP, take the gun, kill them all, start defusing, and kill the- no, kill the nade guy, he's very dangerous. Oh, there, where is the nade guy? Yeah, okay. You can't defuse before they, they are all dead. Don't, don't uh, reload now. I'm gonna go here. Kill them all, start the prison and kill the rest. Now we can load. And we're gonna take the HP. So now, shoot this guy through the wall and then go to this guy. And then kill this dude, kill this dude, take the bomb here. And plant. Plant, then animation cancel. And then the game is done. Okay, that's the main game. That was the main game. Congratulations, soldier. The enemy has been scattered and defeated. You have averted a certain catastrophe this Alright, so after this mission, I'm going to start with the Thank extra you. missions. Which like this, this one. But the thing is we haven't really speed speed run uh, these missions. We I have only speed run uh, the run mission, the pipe dream mission, and the counter terrorist training. So I'm going to make tutorials on those, but not the other ones. If I someday route them and do some runs on them, then I will 
I will make another video about how to speed speed run them. But the main game is done. If you want to speed run main game, this is all you need. Uh, now I'm gonna go and show the scripted uh, sequences, and then I will start with the extra missions. All right. So scripted sequences. This is only going to be for main game missions and. I didn't really put any time to find any scripted sequences in uh, extra missions. So if I do sometime and find some, uh, I'll probably make a video about it and you'll probably get informed if you run this game. Uh, if you're in the conditions or Discord, you will probably get notified or I'll make another video and put them in the same playlist or put them in the comments, blah blah. But for now, this is only going to be for main game. So starting with the general scripts, that is done by BXD. Starting with Bugtap, I highly recommend it to you to bind it to C or mouse file. BXD test that uh, Bugtap. This is only for scripted category, by the way. So what this does is when you hold mouse file, it duck taps. If you have any watched scripted IR runs of mine, I do this a lot because apparently it moves a lot faster, as you can see. Yeah. Second one is for Bopers PXD the auto jump form, of course. Just hold space and bunny up. Then we got PXD test jump back. I bind it to N. And it's basically jump box for you. At the down pilot, it makes the down pilot jump up way more easier. Instead of trying to uncrouch and jump at the same time, it just does it for you by holding one single button. In this case, I'm holding N. These are the scripts. Now, after that, you need two more wait commands. I highly recommend you to do these bind G, W350, and by K. Bind KW 800 and weight stands for the weight and the number the higher the number the longer the weight command is weight command basically delays any action that is that is taken in the game so starting with the sacred lore this saves two minutes I know it's a lot two minutes two minutes of time saved just by this easy trick. But for this, you need to clean. You need to spend a bit of time cleaning here. So when you come here, you have to clean all of these folks. I don't really have the save, so I'm just gonna clean them over here. Like this, when you're coming here, you must kill them all. Come here. You have to kill them all. And then in here, you have to kill them all as well there we go okay here we go we are killing this one and now we can move with this weapon as well uh, they are the same walking speed but now you're gonna use the key bind key bind so you're gonna up uh trigger press k and then start going hold w and then k and walk here and you'll end up here but you lose all their weapons right and press here wait press k and then go and then stand around here and then boom since you don't have weapons, you have to go here and, and kill him with this. Okay, I suck at aiming with this. There's a proper way of doing this, but I don't really remember it. Yeah, just mess around with this and you'll find the proper way of handling these. Okay, that's the first secret. Now we have... The one at Wilden Reckon.
right for this one it is a lot more riskier because since it skips the armor and hp and m4 you take and you need to manage your armor and hp in here uh, way better so now in here you're gonna be way more careful yeah take the hp don't lose armor don't lose hp okay this is so bad you can you can take these guys down better than me okay yeah, you just kill those without losing HP. So my HP and normal is fine, as you can see, this is ideal. And now we're gonna kill these dudes as well. Kill them with Mech 10. Alright, now reload, press J, and then go here. I just press J over there, and you are here. It's a huge skip indeed. Uh, saves a good amount of time. So bind J weight 350. That's basically it. There's a there's a trigger. You have to press before that. So reload, press J, and then go here and crouch. Crouch. So these two dudes have 800 HP. Literally 800. So you're gonna have trouble dealing with those without losing the HP and armor. So you can just do this. This is gonna be a bit of problematic. Well, yeah, this is this is not a good HP, unfortunately. But we'll try. You get the idea, and you come back to get the nade. That's the problem with this. Come back to get the nade, and then nade to steer. Just to do this nade boost, you have to be very careful about your HP and armor. Yeah, like this. I don't have enough right now, or I do. I am not sure about it, so yeah, lesson learned, you have to be careful about your HP and armor to do this boost. Let's see if I can get it. Yeah, you get the idea, I don't have enough right now, you should have. Now we got... here. This... This thing over here. Are you serious? Like, okay, so this one is the same. It's bind G. Uh, 350 weight comments is enough for this one as well. Uh, reload. You, you're not gonna have M4, which is another bad thing. Uh, take the HP in here. Skip those enemies. And now here, here is the uh, trigger. Find uh, press G and then go and you are here. So after you go here, you wanna take the HP here through the wall, and now you can. The lava boost is going to be more painful since you have zero armor, unfortunately. And why are you here, may I ask? Look, he's gonna disappear. Yeah. That we have two armor you might have 10 20 depending on how well you did just press the wait button hold on okay you do this with you do this with um different angles since you have zero armor you're gonna die if you do it just as normal the idea why do I have 88? Why can I not do this? Yeah, here we go. You're gonna. Okay, this is stupid. Let me get the idea. You should have at least 10 armor or something for this. Why do I sometimes get it and sometimes not? Oh yeah, here's the thing, you can aim here. While standing there. 
That's a perk. My game crashed. Such a wonderful game. Yeah, you get the idea. That's why. Oh, my game didn't crash. Okay. Well, yeah. You got it. It is very hard to not die. That's why no one really does it. But if you somehow manage your HP and armor, it is possible. It is. So now we've got the turn of the crank script. That's the last one. Where is it? Alright, here we go. Just load M10. Alright. In here we've got... I don't... I don't have bind. Okay, let's bind this to M. Probably weight 150. Same. There is a trigger. I'm gonna play this. I... No. Let's say 200. Right? Yeah, let's put it 220. Or 230. Right? Press M. Go there. Yeah, there we go. Skips the cutscene. Let's just put 250. That should be enough. Yeah, there we go. Um, grab your suitcase again. Press 5 to move uh, faster. Because AK runs with 199 speed. Uh, so you can go with your suitcase. If you want to go normally. Which you certainly do. Yeah, this is the last script. Continue with this. So yeah, those were the scripts. As I said, if there is any new secrets found in, you know, I'll let you know. But yeah, these are the scripts. Alright, this is gonna be very boring. Disclaimer. This is gonna be very boring. Because this is gonna be a tutorial for Counter-Strike. No, Counter-Terrorist Training. Hello. To be honest, I just watched the WR run for this. I don't think I have to. Um, Alright, I just changed my mind right now. I don't really have to make a tutorial for this. If you really want to learn, go watch the WR video. There is nothing confusing about it. Literally nothing confusing. If you do, comment on this video. Alright, uh, moving on to run. Damn, I just, I just switched missions in one second. Alright, run is a... You can do the same. But let's just do it for the sake of doing it. There is absolutely no tricks. There's only one trick actually. You go here, full straight, duck, roll here to get more speed. Like you can press straight duck and then duck again to get uh, way better speed. Little optimization, shoot this. Okay. Shoot this. Jump here, jump here, and then jump here. Go here. Shoot this guy and lower your FPS to 20 so that this box moves faster. Good and 20. Left row here. Go here. Kill this guy. Go through the window. Reload. Now reload. Go here. Wall strafe, wall strafe. So, about this thing. You don't have to get in like you don't have to do some fancy movements to get in here. I tried to do this and dog pull and I just couldn't get in. But instead you can just walk into it like this. It will be way more easier. So and then go here. So in the B hops in the B hop one you can actually can actually make a jump like this from here to here to here there you get the you get the idea that it is a bit hard and inconsistent in scriptless run so I don't really do it instead you can do this with p hop or 
And screw this folks, you can duck hole here, which will be faster, and then climb. Now, you gotta skip. If you're a B up guy, you just B up and then do this. Let's try. Uh, if you're running scripted with B hop, you can just do non stop and go. But scripted, it's a bit weird. It is a bit hard to time the jump here. You can see the timing. Yeah, like that. It is not so easy that you can just B hop and then do the jump. But with scripted, it is. You can just keep your B hop speed and then jump. But with Scriptus it's a bit harder. So for for Scriptus folks, jump into this fence and then here. It will be faster and then make a jump here. Don't bump into this, make a movement like this. Yeah. Go here. Duck roll on stairs. Press strafe and duck roll. It will be faster. Go strafe. Duck roll, duck roll, duck roll. 4 FPS. Let's run. Now we got pipe dream. Pipe dream is such a great chapter. Let me be honest with you. So, I haven't routed or played this map. And my game crashed. Okay, wonderful. I lock block full. I lock block full. Yeah, nice game crash. Dumbass game. So yeah, there is a reason why I'm not going to cover all the cover all the uh, missions simply because I don't know them. Alright, let's try this again. Load M15. Okay, we're gonna run this mission. This is going to be the last. Because I don't know. Um, there isn't. Yeah. I don't know this one. I don't know this one. I don't know this one. This one just crashed my game. I don't want to do it again. And. Yeah, I don't know this one as well. I don't know this one as well. Yeah, that's the last one. So these three or four missions are the one that needs routing, that needs runs and stuff. If you are the one to do it, we'll be glad. I don't know. I just don't really want to do them right now and don't really want to spend time. So we are going to continue with Pipe Dream. This is such a cool chapter. And. Alright, let's go. Go here. How did I just see them? There's this thing. Go. And then activate the trigger here. There's a trigger that you need to touch. After hitting there, hitting these folks. Don't let them see you, they have miniguns. And we can go. We're gonna make a boost here, get on top of this guy and then make a jump here. And then make a jump here. Dark roll. Take the bombu. <laughs> Take the bombu. Go over here if you can. If this guy does not block, you can go there. And like if he don't, if he stays there, you can kill him and then do it. Go there. Stand here for two seconds and then go. Take the HP in here. Shoot this once uh, with the second burst fire mode. It didn't work. First fire. Take all the nades in here and now kill these folks. When you kill this folk, dude, it opens this door. And you only have to kill this guy. Again, the video presses the button. <laughs>
<laughs> That's a nice animation over right there. Yeah. And then go back. Okay, why am I failing this? Some reload. And then make a jump like this over here. This saves a lot of time. And we have to, yeah, get it like this. It is easy, not that hard. Can you even do it like this? Yeah, you can. And yeah, this is a trick. Now throw one flashbang over there. And when you come here, they will break the window. You don't have to break the window. They will break it for you. So we're gonna throw one flashbang here. Go so kill this dude, take Bombu and save load. Why am I seeing Bombu? Save load and then put in animation cancel go here. Continue. Take the AK. Kill these folks. Now your armor is precious. You have just enough armor for the boost. Kill these folks. Now here's a nice skip. Instead of going inside and taking the lock and stuff, you go here. Depending on your armor, you want to change your distance. This is too much. So I'm gonna throw it something around here and wait and... Maybe throw it here and then jump and crouch. Just jump and crouch. Yeah, this is perfect. Depends on your armor, you have to um, change the distance between like this. This is a nice, uh, easy trick. Like this. Alright. Go here, kill this guy and 4 FPS and then go here. When you 4 FPS, this guy has a less chance of shooting you. So 4 FPS and then go. Now, kill this dude, a uh, smoke grenade. Kill this fall, radio, go back, save this CT in here, like this lower FPS, and there will be one more, kill them as well, and follow a movement like this, if you go straight forward like this they will get stuck, so you want to do this, also lower FPS and do it, you want to do this, and you want to just lead them. Here we go. And that's Pipe Dream. Let me check if there is any more extra missions left that I need to cover. So, Recoil done, Lost Cause done, Secret World done, Building Recon done, Drag Lab, Motorcade, Tin Ice down, Pilot Tanker Guy, Turn of the Crank, Adam and Rice Heart, City Training. Just watch the WR video. Pipe Dream. This one also has a commentary. Uh, on text if you check the if you check my scriptless with ehop wr uh, in the video description i actually wrote a tutorial uh, about it this was just a giant tutorial explaining tricks and stuff tricks and stuff got run and yeah that that's that's basically it i have covered everything scripts and other stuff as well and there if i like i don't think there is anybody that is going to be an all missions run so yeah pipe dream miami heat sandstorm truthing chaos and fast line these five missions uh, do need routing not actually the miami heat but truthing chaos fast line and sandstorm these missions need some routing if I route them, I will definitely make a tutorial and I will let you guys know in the comments section down below. And the tutorial is done. Yes, it literally took me my whole day to do this. It's almost 10 p.m. and I started at 12, probably. Maybe, maybe 2, I don't know. Alright, I'm not gonna talk any longer. This... That was the tutorial for Counter-Second Engineer Deleted Scenes. Hope it was useful. 
I hope I didn't miss out anything. If I did, let me know in the comments. And yeah, hope it was useful. And as I said again, if I, if I do runs and routes on Sandstorm, Truth in Chaos, Fast Line, and Miami Heat, I will, I will certainly make a tutorial on it as well. And it will in it will be in the comment section down below. Right, yeah. Thanks for watching and see you guys later. Good luck on the runs. Bye bye.